Recently, Megan and I were in Europe and we were doing a teacher's training for a bunch of teachers over there and the subject came up, which moves after the basics should we be teaching our classes? And in this video, we're gonna cover 15 moves that you should know after the basics. So at any level, you should probably be using these moves or variations of these moves. So first things first, we're gonna do a free spin off of this right hand. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We can get there by doing a sugar push and simply changing hands. But Megan, why do we need to know the free spin? There are gonna be many moves that involve free spins, so it's a good one to learn, but we also just need to uh, figure out how it feels when the leader lets go of us. Or. Or doesn't. Or doesn't, which leads us into move number two, something like a roll and roll out. One, two, three, and four, getting used to connect there and roll out, right? So same thing from there if we let a free spin. So we have the free spin, the roll in, roll out. The next one is very similar to the roll in, roll out, but it's done with the leader's left hand, and we call this a fold, and we turn back around. You'll also see this often done with a sweep. Three and four, we sweep, five, step six, and go into the next pattern, right? The next one is, how would I, in a cooler way, get to my right to right hand hold? So if I led something like a left side pass, one, two, three, and four, and the leader turned around, I would now have this to dance into a pattern with my right hands, which leads us into step number four. We roll Megan into sweetheart position. We call this sweetheart position where the hand goes up to the shoulder. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And when we get there, we'll go to move number five, which is roll into sweetheart, and we can add extra walks. You can add two, four, six, eight. As long as there are multiples of two, you're still on time. So that would look like this. One, two, three three and four, walk five, walk six, anchor seven and eight. But what's a cool way to get rid of this hand? I could do a sugar push and change hands, far less cool, or I could just do a simple inside turn that goes over her head and my head, anchor step. So if we did something like that left side pass and I turned around, I could get rid of it with my right hand over her head. Next one's gonna be, instead of a right side pass, we're gonna do a right side redirect. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So this is good because Megan's gonna normally do the right side pass, but as the leader, I have to get used to redirecting her energy and cutting her off for more advanced patterns. So it's still a six count pattern, but it's a good skill to learn. Then we're gonna go into what we call the right torque turn, or you've also heard us call it a right side pass. It looks a lot like a whip. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So as a teacher, I like this because it's gonna segue, it's a six count pattern, but it's gonna segue into a whip. Which, speaking about whips, there are a couple of, a bunch of different whips that we need to know. Off of the basic whip, we need to know how to do a whip with an inside turn. So on count four, that's where the magic's gonna happen. On count four, I'm looking at my watch, so Megan turns inside or towards me. That's number one version of the whip. The other one, if you guessed it, it's a whip with an outside turn. And Megan, why do people need to know whips with outside turns? There are many, many variations later on that the base pattern is this whip with an outside turn. This is actually technically a reverse whip with an outside turn, but it comes off of that basic whip idea where Megan turns outside, the hand goes outside of her head. So speaking of whips, we also have a reverse whip, right? So. Megan explains it, the regular whip, she turns towards me, and the reverse whip, she turns away. Looks like this, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now for the subtleties of how to lead and follow these, you can head over to our website, we'll explain all of that stuff there, we'll link that in the corner, westcoastwingonline.com. But moving along whips, this is one that Megan likes, it's called the basket whip, she's smiling as we do this. It's actually not my favorite, but it's but, nice and easy for learning whips. Yeah, so easier way to do it is if I did like a sugar push and I kept two hands, it's a whip. She goes up one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. An easy one for me is called the same side whip. I also love this one. One, two, three, and four of five, six, seven, and eight. Why is it called the same side whip? Because I stay on the same side of the slot. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So at this point, 
You have done some different turn variations from different holds. You've seen whips that turn both directions. The last one I think you should probably be exposed to is a rock and go. So what a rock and go is, we have a whole video we'll link here on explaining what it is, but short answer, we're gonna do a sugar push and instead of anchoring in place, we're gonna do a sugar push and rock and go Megan out of it right into an inside turn. So there's three different, um, three different ways that you can use a, a rock and go. One is off of a sugar push. We find this is kind of the easiest because it's all happening in front of us. Triple step, anchor step. Another one would be from something like a whip. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inside turn, anchor step. And finally, something like a sugar tuck where I take, make, oh actually let's take something that we already know, the roll in, roll out. If I roll Megan in and I pull her out of this, I can lead right in to that inside turn variation where I go over my head. So you can see if you have these, I think we have 14 or 15 in this video. If you have these patterns, they're really gonna be the base for all of the more advanced stuff that you're gonna learn in West Coast Swing. Speaking of that, if you've not been to our website, westcoastswingonline.com, it's like Netflix for dancers. All these patterns and more broken out level by level. If you wanna level up your styling, musicality, we have videos. Give it a try somewhere around here, 14 days free. And uh, if you're interested in leveling up your technique in West Coast Swing, let me share this video right here called the 10 Essential Techniques for West Coast Swing.